So what is learning? There are lots of kinds of learning problems. So we're going to talk about supervised learning first, and then not till the end of the class are we going to talk about unsupervised learning and reinforcement learning. But basically, any kind of learning you think about, usually you can shoehorn it into one of these kinds, of one of these categories. Supervised learning is where you had a teacher, you were supervised, and somebody said, this is a bottle, this is a table, this is a shirt, this is a remote presenter, this is a pen, and told you a bunch of things. And basically you're doing induction and saying, oh, that's what a pen is. I see, okay. I, I get it. I get it now. Um, unsupervised learning is where you just get thrown in the world and people talk to you and pretty soon you know English. That's unsupervised learning. Um, and it's hard. It's very, they're, well, they're both hard. Um, um, so supervised learning, you can think very much of, of, of a like classification problem. Like I'll say that's a pen and I'll say this is a piece of paper. And then I'll show you this that you've never seen before and say, what's this? And you'll say, a pen, rather than that's a piece of paper. Um, even though you've never seen this before. Um, and there are lots of issues, like what if I show it to you like this? Can you recognize it if I show it to you like that? Even if you've only ever seen it like this? You know, there, there are all kinds of issues. But basically, supervised learning is when there was a teacher at one point who showed you a bunch of examples. And then with new examples, you get to classify them yourself. That's supervised learning. You're predicting what class the example belongs in. Is it the pen class of thing, or the paper class, or the table class, or the water bottle class? Um, so that's we're going to talk about supervised learning first. Unsupervised learning is really hard to get your head around. It's just where you're trying to make sense of the world. And uh, the only thing I'm going to say about that now is it's basically compression. So. If I have a good model of the world, then I can describe any state of the world very compactly. Um, so unsupervised learning, where you're just shown a bunch of data and, and told to make sense of it, figure out what's going on, basically you build a model of the data in such a way that you can express the data very compactly. So if I give you some data that looks like this. And I say, what's going on here? You might say, well, variable x1 is linearly related to variable x2. You've built a model of the data. That's unsupervised learning. That's really all I'm going to say about it for now. We'll come back to it later. Um, reinforcement learning is the third kind of learning, and that's where you're acting. It's where you're taking, you're taking actions. Um, and things either work out or they don't. So you get reinforcement at the end. Um, so like good dog, bad dog kind of stuff. Um, so you're gonna, that's assignment four. You're going to build a reinforcement learning agent. And we're going to put it in the world, and it's going to feel pain and it's going to get better over time. Um, so anyway, I'll just do one more, say one more thing. The, the thing we're going to do f next is uh, in first order logic, we're going to do something where you get background information. Here are these people. Here are their relationships. Here are some facts about this new concept called grandparent. Figure out what it means to be a grandparent based on positive examples and negative examples. So you're going to try and derive that grandparent means there exists a z such that parent x of z and parent z of y, then grandparent x, y. So that's, that's, what, that's the kind of learning that I'm going to give you an algorithm for next time.